Post curing maximizes material properties for stereolithography prints, improving parts strength and performance. Form Cure Second Generation combines heat and 405 nanometer light to consistently post cure prints. Follow along in this video to learn how to use and maintain your Form Cure Second Generation. If this video helps you, please give it a like, and thanks for watching. Before using the Form Cure, allow parts to fully dry after washing. Check surfaces and interior spaces of the parts for trapped solvent. Curing parts that contain solvent and dissolved resin may cure solvent inside the part, prevent parts from strengthening, and affect material properties. Forced air, such as a fan or clean compressed air, may dry parts more quickly. Always consult the support article, Form Cure Second Generation Time and Temperature Settings, as a primary source of information for up-to-date post-cure settings. Once parts are washed and fully dried, get started with the cure by opening the door. Insert your parts into the form cure and distribute them across the turntable. Space parts evenly to allow light and heat to reach all areas. Gently close the door. Turn the knob to navigate the display menu and select the material type and version. Push the knob to select or confirm. Select Start. The LEDs activate and the cure will begin preheating. During preheating, the display shows the preheating status, which includes the current temperature and the target temperature. It is important for your parts to be inside the form cure during the preheat step so that the parts will warm with the unit. If the part is not placed in the form cure until preheating is complete, it may cause cracking. The cure process will begin once the heater reaches the target temperature. At the end of the post-cure cycle, the LEDs and heater will turn off automatically, and the process is complete. Note that the Form Cure second generation contains two 450 watt heaters to help post cure parts. Internal surfaces in printed parts may be hot during and after use. Take care when removing parts. Heat resistant gloves are recommended prior to opening the door to remove the parts. The most common steps needed to maintain the Form Cure are cleaning the turntable and the interior of the unit. Cleaning should be minimal and only needed occasionally if best practices are followed, such as only curing washed and fully dried parts. The form cure turntable rotates to expose part surfaces to even amounts of light and heat. The turntable must have sufficient clearance to continue rotating. To clean the turntable, lift the turntable to inspect underneath for small pieces of cured resin. Remove any cured or liquid resin above or below the turntable to ensure the turntable can rotate without interruption. Use IPA to clean the turntable or the base if needed. Allow IPA to fully evaporate before starting a post-cure cycle. The internal surfaces of the form cure must remain clean in order to ensure that the turntable can move reliably. To clean the internal surfaces of the form cure, visually inspect them for traces of resin and other contamination. Clean the surfaces with IPA as needed. Again, allow the IPA to fully evaporate before starting a post-cure cycle. Did this video help you get started? If so, please leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content. What video do you want to see next? Leave us a comment telling us more. Thanks for watching.